inside this little lens. Oh God, please get me out. and we're in Verona. It's crazy to believe that I'm at the Colosseum for the third time because I'm not. We're at the arena in Verona. <laughs> Time for speed run interviews where we speed and run an interview. <laughs> Coliseum in Rome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's funny that like these places when we're like walking like this street over there, it just looks so like normal and you turn the corner and it's like bam! Yeah, bam! And I then love it's just like ancient I love architecture. It. Yeah, and this is like everyday life for some people. Yeah, it's kind of everyday life for us. Bam! sapere solo che la tradizione vuole che Giulietta eh, è il famoso balcone dove il Romeo stava a cantare per lei sono in questa casa siamo sempre bambini ma and then they did but it was like on accident on accident yeah you know the story so basically they were laying there and she was like oh he's dead but he wasn't really dead uh -huh. so then she killed herself and then he was like shoot now she's dead i gotta die so no one's to blame or was that your opinion oh uh, i don't think there's anyone really to blame other than the family's fighting like it should be all peace and love and uh, yeah so what's the lesson out of this tutto amore oh. Shakespeare. Either okay, one. well, I know that it was his birthday recently on April 23rd, and he would have turned 460 years old, so it's like kind of a big deal. Okay. Um, yeah, exactly. I know that he didn't like come up with the idea for Romeo and Juliet. I mean, he wrote all the dialogue and all that, but like he basically kind of st like stole an old story, and so it's like kind of like fanfic, I guess. So that's okay, kind of cool. fanfic. Um, and yeah, so that's fun. You look like you're cool. Um, what are you most excited to see in here? Um, I'm kind of excited to see like the walls 
because of the letters that people write. Um, that's like a tradition, so that's fun. Are you gonna write a letter? I I have a pencil, but I don't have paper, so I don't know. Um, they're writing letters to Juliet, who supposedly gives you advice on love and life, etc. So um, yeah, it's apparently a tradition. Oh, she's writing hate mail, so I guess she gets all kinds of mail. I guess from this perspective it would be Julia, Julia. Yeah. So. yeah. the statue over there though everybody's getting in line because supposedly if you touch the statue or the sculpture um, you'll get like luck for love which I don't do I need it do you need it I actually really like it I think it's really cool the line was a little long so I wasn't sure if I like wanted to stand in line I was like if I come to Verona I should see the balcony I should see the statue so I like it it's quite cute Soft. through light thou yonder window breaks where it is the east and Julia is the sun I'm Romeo oh Romeo where art thou Romeo that's all I know <laughs> and let's see what other opinions do I have um <laughs> <laughs> Some Juliet's wannabes up there. Let down your hair. Not the right one. That's Rapunzel. Um, so yeah, we're about to take some pictures with our homegirl Juliet. So stand tuned for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam! Like, come on. We're on the same page. No, no, I um, I have never defaced a public wall before. That's been really pretty, very much romantic, like the rest of Italy. But I feel like I think it's pretty cool. I enjoyed seeing it. Um, I'm an English major, so like it makes me happy. But <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh my gosh, like it must be so cool to be like Juliet." No, I'm pretty sure she didn't make it. So no. No, but on to the next. <laughs> Compilation of you putting your face and me going because I do that all the time. He's always looking at the camera like this. What is that? Oh, yeah, this is exactly what we need. <laughs> Welcome to Sirmione. Okay, yeah, so right now we're walking to go see if we can take a boat tour if the weather is good enough. Um, but this is, I believe, <laughs> yeah, sorry, lots of people. <laughs> this is Lake Garda um, that Sermione is on. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to be able to take a little boat trip around and that'll be really pretty. So, here's hoping that, yeah. But yes, here is, here is Lake. Very pretty. There are lots of like hotels and stuff all over, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's actually kind of interesting because it dates back to like Roman times because like all the like rich families from Verona would come stay here as like their little vacation time. So it's interesting that now there's still like a lot of hotels and whatever that people still come and visit. It's still a very vacation -y feel for a town. So that's fun. Photographers, photographing, photographers. Abby, what do you think about the ruins? I'm a big fan of ruins. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are your favorite type of ruins? Old ones. <laughs> what type of old ruins? Right now those. <laughs> you already hear first, these are Abby's favorite ruins. Oh my word. I think we're about to capsize. <laughs> This is, oh wait, this is Sarah's best boat impression. bubbles in the water and that's because in Sirmione there are thermal springs uh, which basically means like stuff coming out of like the earth and it's cool so ta -da! I mean I don't like sparkling water okay <laughs> it's not the same thing As you may be able to tell, I was apparently sitting in the splash zone and now there's water. How was your boat? How was the other boat? It was very nice. Um, when we went fast, that was super cool and I got to see some hot, stinky water. So, yeah, very exciting. <laughs> that was your favorite part? Was uh, it was all cool. It was all okay, cool. Okay. I think when we went fast was my favorite part. Okay, favorite part was fast. Yeah. Second favorite part. Second was hot, stinky water. Hot, stinky water. I mean, you can't be there. All right, can't all right, be there. good, good. Okay, You're welcome. You're welcome. Day. Um, I'm really happy it's not raining. The sun came out a little bit. That the water is really good. blue and it was beautiful. Blue. And look at they're like, you know, a little tower right here. So towers, love cool. towers. We love towers. We love towers. What flavor of gelato did you get? Chocolate and cookie. Excellent. Choice. I sounded very American when I ordered it. Very really good. I got um, raspberry and lemon, and it was very good. I got. Snickers and cookies. There's a cookie theme going on today. I got, um, <laughs> I got uh, raspberry and Nutella. Yeah. What flavor did you get, Rafa? Uh, was limone and fruity di bosque. What did you get? Um, I got stretch Nutella. Oh, what are you? Mango and passion fruit. Okay. I got my usual stretch Nutella and cafe. And chocolate and cookies and cream. Um, it's giving American ice cream because my stomach hurts. Um, <laughs> that is so hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I give it like a six. It's good, okay. but you know. Good. Good. Scratch like half the thing. Good. Uh, so, what do you think about this view? I mean, it's really quite terrible. It's just, oh, yeah. it's not enough. I was expecting a little more. That was great. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> We'd like the record to show that Natalie was being sarcastic. Do I need to I was being sarcastic. No. Whatever you do, please don't fall. That would be so no, unfortunate. Like <laughs> Here we are. The lake. It's gorgeous. Um, I don't know what cities are surrounding us, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the color of the water. It's very clear, yet also like has a nice bluish greenish tint. So that's so pretty. So yeah, she's here to share her thoughts. It's really beautiful and really sunny, and I obviously dressed really well for this. <laughs> Paige dressed for the rain that we've had on almost every other trip. So she's very prepared, and we commend her for it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>
going to interview the duck. <laughs> Excuse me, duck. It doesn't have much to say. It's no comment. I'm over here because there's bugs over there. You know, it is very relaxing. I like the waves. Um, it's very pretty. I, since this is like a lake, it reminds me of when I visit my grandma on Lake Michigan. So that's nice. I'm scared. Okay, I hope you've had fun traveling with us today. We've had a great time, um, and we'll see you next time in Puglia.